If you have ever thought about getting a bidet, this is the video for you. I bought five highly rated bidets on Amazon. I installed them and tested all of them myself. I am going to be talking about the pros and cons of each one of these and which one I recommend most. This video is not sponsored by anybody, so all these opinions are purely my own. There will be links to all these bidets down below in the description. If you check those out, it does help support the channel and I do appreciate it. And before we jump in, the best part about all these bidets is they are non-electric bidets, which means they work for pretty much any single toilet. And the installation process for all, for all these is basically the exact same and takes less than 15 minutes to install. See this right here? This doesn't come for nothing. This is because I installed bidets on my toilet. But let's actually talk about the bidets themselves. The first one we're going to be talking about today is this Samadora bidet. It's an ultra slim minimalist bidet that comes with both the feminine spray and the bum spray and different pressures as well. You can see depending on which way you twist this, it will spray out. It has a dual nozzle depending on which, whether you're doing the bum spray or the feminine spray, the water will spray out of either one of those kind of at a different angle. Okay, so we have our bowl here and then we're going to turn this on. And you can see it's spraying up right exactly where it needs to. Uh, works perfectly and then this turns off and then if you wanted to get the front side you can see you turn it this way and there's different there's different pressures so you can see this is a lower pressure uh, which is kind of nice so it doesn't you know, go right up there but you can get a high pressure low pressure and then this way as well angle you can see here is the bum it just kind of shoots up there I'm trying to give you this you can see the water pressure is really high it does a really good job it doesn't splash when you're actually sitting on here, it doesn't splash up this way. Just know that it's because I have the bowl here, obviously. And you can see just how high powered this thing can actually get. And then the front, if you're curious what the difference is, the angle is different, so it comes up and hits more towards the front. Um, that's the point of it. And you can see it, it kind of goes up a little bit higher, the, this one, and it goes all the way that way. You can see the different water pressure. A few things that I really like about this bidet is the ultra slim design, the minimal aesthetic. It's very easy to use to twist that nozzle. Uh, it has the dual nozzle for the feminine and bum spray and adjustable pressure. And now for the cons. I love the nozzle on this, but it's too easy to use for a kid. I have a two year old and she got into this and it sprayed water everywhere. So if you have kids, stay away from this one. I'll show you a more kid friendly one later. This one also doesn't have a self cleaning nozzle like a lot of the other bidets that I'll be showing in this video. So the next bidet we're gonna be talking about is this Lux Bidet Neo 120 Plus. This has a nice adjustable knob for the bum spray and then also an adjustable knob for a 360 self-cleaning mode for the nozzle, which is great. It has these easy lift hinges for cleaning underneath the actual bidet itself. And it does come with a nozzle guard that I'll be demonstrating here in just a minute as well. Um, and when we go through and open this up, this is what it looks like on the, when one lid is up and then this is what the, this looks like. Now, the nice thing about this as well is it does have this functionality where you can go through and lift this up to go through and clean it underneath here. So stuff doesn't kind of build up on the bottom there, which is great. And you can see it says, I am a nozzle guard gate. Stay closed all times during use. The nozzle drop down below me to spray. You only need to open me when you want to access cleaning for nozzle. So um, you don't ever have to open this, but if you ever do, you can just pop this thing out right here and use this to clean the nozzle and go through. I'll probably go through and remove this sticker uh, after this, but um, now let's actually go through and test this bidet. You have the two different nozzles. You have the wash feature, and then you also have the, uh, the nozzle clean. Now, in order to use the nozzle clean, what you need to do is actually flip this switch first. You'll notice that nothing's happening right now. Once you have the on the nozzle clean setting, you can adjust the pressure here, and then you turn this on, uh, on this one. So you can see that that's now going through and cleaning the nozzle right here, and you can adjust the pressure up or down on this as well. But that's what that looks like. Now, if you wanted to actually go through and use the bidet itself, you wanna make sure this washes all the way up. And then here you can turn this, and you'll see there's a lot of water pressure there, and you can even turn it up even higher as well coming up this way all the way to max and then all the way down. So a few things that I really like about this is the ultra thin design. It's the easiest to install out of it, any of them. It has the easy lift hinges for cleaning. The retractable self-cleaning nozzle is a 360 mode, which is awesome. The protective guard is great as well. And then the adjustable pressure. Couple cons for this particular bidet is there's no feminine spray option. And also the control panel itself is a little bit big compared to some of the others, especially the previous one that we just looked at, the Samadora. So depending on your personal preference, you may like the look of this one a little bit less. The third bidet that we're gonna be looking at today is the Viking Ultra Slim Self-Cleaning Bidet. You can see here, this has a bum spray and a feminine spray, and it also has a self-cleaning nozzle uh, demonstrated right there by pressing that button. 
here's a closer look at what this looks like just like as you're looking at it the overall design as you can see this will fit pretty much any toilet whether your toilet is round or elongated um, here's what it looks like with the seat down and here's what it looks like with the seat all the way down so now I'm going to give you a front row seat of how this thing actually works. So I'm going to use this so I don't spray everything everywhere. You click the setting that you want to use, and then you flip the switch here. And you can see just how much water pressure that is. That first little spurt there is just the air coming through. But you can see how powerful this thing actually gets. Very powerful. And then you can turn that off, and then... If you want it off all the way, you just kind of flip that switch and that button comes up. Then you can choose this down to do the bum spray. And then same thing, you see it's kind of hitting in a different spot and you can turn this all the way up here. Now, one of the advantages of this compared to other ones that I've seen is that the, the button and then the knob switch is kind of nice if you have kids. So I have a kid and um, she has gotten into one of our bidets and it doesn't, it was just a knob that comes through and so she'll play with it. It's the first time, it's the first and the last time, but she played with it one time and it kind of just sprayed out. So this dual functionality, especially if you have kids, I think is kind of a, a safety, if you will. And then the final thing is here, we do have the um, actual clean function, where if you hold this down and then bring it over, you can see that it's now just cleaning the toilet. And if you let go, it's not cleaning anymore. So you can go through and turn this on and then hold the, the, the bidet cleaner. And you see this just washes all the crap and thing off, off of it. So that's a really cool functionality. Another nice thing about this bidet is it has this quick release function that allows you to unlock the bidet and then just slide it out like this for quick cleaning. And then it's easy to put it back in just by sliding it in right there and then clicking on the little lock button on the back just like that. Now, some of the pros for this Viking bidet is it's ultra slim. It does have the self-cleaning nozzle, which I really like that functionality. Easy detachment for cleaning, which we just went over as the feminine and bum spray. It's somewhat childproof because there's two steps to kind of activate the bidet and then it has the adjustable pressure as well. So this is one I would recommend if you have kids. The cons are the control panel is kind of big. It might not be the most pretty to some people uh, compared to other bidets. Next, we're gonna look at this Tushy Basic 2.0. You can see the nozzle here adjusts for the actual bidet water pressure or the nozzle clean pressure. You have this little adjustment tab and if you flip this, you'll see that it moves it back or forth depending on which way you wanna go um, just to kind of make that adjustment there. So uh, that's really a nice feature that they has. And then over here, you can see if you switch this over, this will spray forward. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like here in a minute. And then this, if you spray it, if you push it this way, this is to wash the nozzle. So you can see it just kind of goes through and washes the nozzle here. Um, but if you go back this way, this is where it actually sprays you. So let me grab a bowl and kind of demonstrate how this works. So do be mindful if you aren't sitting on the toilet and you use this, it will spray up at you. So that's why I have this bowl. You can see when you go through, this has different pressure settings. So you can have it lighter shooting up this way, or there's a heavier one as well that goes all the way up. If you wanted to adjust this down further, you could do that. Um, so all sorts of different settings. Obviously, it doesn't get the toilet as wet if you're actually sitting down on this. This is because I had the bowl right there. And here's a better view of what this looks like kind of uh, outside the toilet or if you're walking towards the bidet. Here's what it looks like when the toilet seat's open. You can see you can barely really see the nozzle at all. And then once the toilet seat is open, this is what it looks like. Some pros for this one is the adjustable nozzle. This is the only bidet out of any of the ones in the video that do have the adjustable nozzle. So that's a big selling point. The adjustable pressure is also nice. The self-cleaning nozzle is great. And this is easy to use with the little silver knob just flipping it one way or the other. Some cons for this one is the control panel is a little bit bigger. Also underneath the toilet seat is a little bit thicker than the other ones because it has that adjustment nozzle there. The last bidet we're gonna be going over is this Brondel bidet toilet seat. The nice thing about this one is you can see it's actually like an entire toilet seat, so it does not look very much like a bidet. It does have on the side here just this little tiny nozzle that has the rear spray, the self-cleaning nozzle, and the feminine spray. So now I'm actually gonna go through and demonstrate these. You can see that you have the front spray and then the rear spray, and there are different levels of pressure inside of here. So I'm gonna give you a zoomed out view, see exactly what this looks like. When this toilet seat is up, it, you can barely even see the bidet because it kind of pops out when you go through and, and test this. So I'll go through and show you the different settings. The first one we have here is the front. Now, when you turn this gently, you're gonna notice that the water is just kind of shooting down this way. This is actually a self-cleaning feature. So before and after you use it, it goes through and cleans it. And then when you turn this nozzle a little bit more, you see that now it actually shoots up and the water pressure is coming. And you can make this even more uh, water pressure here. That's all the way turned up. And you notice when I turn the dial down, when it goes here to the end, you can see then there's that self-cleaning feature again, which is an awesome feature. And then now it is off. And then to go towards the, uh, the, the rear, you just turn it this way. 
And same thing, it has that self-cleaning feature and then the bidet turns on and then you can go through and adjust the pressures to high all the way to low. So really awesome that it has all those different settings and the self-cleaning inside of there. Very easy to twist these knobs and have the different pressures as well. Another great thing about this bidet is with one little push of the button right here, you can slide the entire bidet off of the toilet, which makes it very easy for cleaning. You can see you just take it off just like this. And then it's very easy to put it back in just by sliding it just like this and it clicks back into place. Both of the lids are also soft closed as well. So when you go through and close them, they slowly go down, which is nice, or you can speed it up by putting it down like that. Some of the pros for this is it has the best self-cleaning features in my opinion. It looks just like a toilet seat. The nozzle is retractable as feminine and bum spray as the self-cleaning nozzle, easy latch for cleaning uh, the toilet seat underneath it and it has these soft close toilet seats. One of the cons for this one, unlike any of the other bidets in this video that fit round and elongated, this fits either a round or an elongated. They have both versions, but you just have to buy one or the other. So here's my overall recommendations if you're looking to buy a bidet the best value is going to be the Viking bidet attachment toilet seat. It has all the bells and whistles that you're gonna need at a lower cost compared to these other bidets. For the best design and ease of use, I would recommend the Samadora. This is great if you don't have kids and you just want an easy bidet that looks really minimalist. And finally, the best overall is going to be the Brondel bidet toilet seat. This doesn't even look like a bidet. The controls are super easy to use and the self-cleaning features are unmatched by any other. And that's everything that I have for you today. Reminder that links to all these bidets are down below in the description. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help a small YouTuber out like myself. And we'll see you in the next video.